Welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. This game is absolutely gorgeous, don't you agree? Okay, so we need to head out to uh, west to force the opening of the embassy at the Baron Light and uh, hope that we can get an access to the Tanakh territory. So, uh, yeah, let's continue our journey. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you will enjoy it. Let's go. The spear can knock off machine's armor using R1. Try it on the training dummies. Oh yeah, we can. We know already that. Power attack. Basically, I think if you destroy all of the dummies, we'll probably get the trophy. 100%. Not even probably. Oh, so many dummies. <laughs> Right. Let's mount our charger. Welcome, yeah, there is a charger site here. I remember we needed some charger parts. Let's see. What is that over there? Small supply crate. We need to kill this one first. Can we kill the charger with a silent hit? Nice. Let's see if we can get the part. Nope. Not again. Hmm. I wonder if we are doing it correctly. Gave him a slip for now. Okay, let's try to fight them like this. Let's scan it, by the way. Charger horn. Hmm. I don't even know how to get that part anymore. At least we got Blaze. That's nice. So you can see here there's a job I created for myself. Uh, we need one charger circulator. There we go. Hopefully we can get it. No, okay. <laughs> I have no idea how to get it. Oh, we need we did also the boar hide. Oh no. Wow, okay. The game doesn't want to give us the part that we need. Uh let's uh, get the blaze can canister here. The rock. Where is the canister? There we go. Create this ones. Mm -hmm. 
There we go, we got the first hide. Need one more to increase the resource pouch. Okay, let's go to the Baron Light and uh, hope we can get the embassy started. More charges here. Supply at my stash. Might be worth taking a look around too. Yeah, let's take a look around. If your inventory is full, items you gather will go to your stash. You can retrieve items from your stash at the settlements. Oh yeah, we know that already. Here's the stash. What do we want to get? All right, um, not sure where to go. Underground city in the desert? That would be interesting to see. Our cue. You taking the edge off? Oh. Well, I mean, I'd ask you to join, but who'd be left to save the world, right? <clears throat> All right, now let me guess. You're in a rush, right? So, uh, whatever you need, ask away. How have things been since I. Your silent departure? <laughs> Yeah, not bad. Vanguard's going strong. Helped Avad pick up the pieces after the battle with the Eclipse. And I took a month to bury Ursa in the claim. But when I got back, I got the assignment to babysit Wadis on his way to the embassy. I thought that'd be a cakewalk, so of course things went sideways. You got blindsided. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> a couple more of these, maybe I'll believe you. Why does he drink so much? What do you know about the embassy? I know not much. Only that Avad really wants it to happen. He said I'm making peace with these Tanakh. But from what I hear, they're not too big on the whole diplomacy thing. They do most of their talking with blades and arrows. So if you're heading their way, be prepared. Things might get ugly real fast. I'll keep that in mind. What do you know about this place? Well, nothing good. It's where the Karja dragged all the captives they took from the Forbidden West during the Red Raids. Lucky ones became slave labor. The rest were hauled off to the Sun Ring and Meridian. Your sacrifice. You got it. Tanakh made sure to wreck the place before they chased the Karja out of the West. I can't say I blame them. And now Avad's paying the Osram to rebuild it. No matter how much new stone they put up, it'll still be stained in blood. I was, um, wondering if you were able to lay Ursa to rest, like you wanted. Uh, yeah, 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 we did. Uh, just seen the crowd that showed up to pay their respects. Half of them owed her a favor, and the other half, the other half owed her their lives. In the end, everybody drank, you know. 
I've had the rowdiest funeral since, uh, what, since ever. <laughs> Feels like she would have liked that. Yeah, damn straight. Damn straight. <laughs> she would have put them all under the table. I, um, I better get going. Oh, uh, yeah, don't let me stop you. Just, uh, are you sure about this? Um, saving the world, that's... That sounds like a lot for just one... Errand. Yeah, all right. Can't blame you for trying. I, I guess what I'm really trying to say is... If you ever do need me... I know where to find you. Hopefully sober next time. Yeah, don't count on it. <laughs> Be careful out there, Aloy. Okay, nice talk. Let's see uh, what's next. Lighten up, Paiv. You've got a thick wall of stone between you and the Tanakhva up there. Yes, sir. Why the long face, my boss? Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. Ah, <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh Marshals have yet to sound their horn. <sighs> All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do, but I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. So what happens at these embassies, exactly? Mostly trade and negotiation. The Karja offer tribute of food, spices, and gear. In exchange, the Tanakh return personal effects taken from Karja soldiers that fell during the Red Raids. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Because the Tanakh, they're handing over some sort of prisoner, right? A soldier named Fashav? Ah, so you've heard. The exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy's going to go well until it's practically over. Alright, so... Let's, uh... Let's go, I guess. Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high-strung. We'll see about that. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, and we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and change scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. I was just no, helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Alvin was thrilled. Hope you don't mind that I'm, uh, you know, selecting all of the dialogues. Just to know more about the game and uh, what is happening. Stand aside, soldier. Sir? There's the commander. Better brace yourself. And good luck. Let's see the commander. Oh, hi! How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? Ahem. <clears throat> ah. Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. 
Yea, for as the first shall be cut. Shut up. Why <laughs> the delay? The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many banners do you see? <sighs> You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Dwarf. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian, file a complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. Hmm. So if we go now, we cannot go back, it seems like. But we have to say I'm going now. So let's go now. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... You shall not! Keep telling yourself that. Someone approaching! On a machine! Open the gates, please. Do not let her through that gate. That is a direct order. Sorry, can't do it. I'm asking nicely. I, I don't know what to do. Hey, Varl. Hi, Aaron. Uh, What's happening? Oh, I, you know, the usual. Aloy wants something. People try to stand in her way. It's not going to work. Oh, that's it. Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. No way. Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey, nose off. You stupid bastard. You think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King of Vod is going to do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let it through, boys. Saving the world. Forget something back in Meridian? Look, Burl. It doesn't matter. I made it just in time. So this tribe that Murad told us about, the Tanakh, we need their permission to go west? Yeah, well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. But this embassy hasn't started yet. We're just gonna barge in? There's no more politics. No more delays. Oh, well. Now at least you have some backup. I guess I do. We'll see how it goes. Wow, we are in the Forbidden West. the line between east and west cross it and die hold on now let's take it easy none may walk this valley until our signal sounds that was our accord with the Karja I'm not Karja I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage but they opened the gate for you did they not what is the meaning of this violation why send a child do they want to parley or not the Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Now. Hold! She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to her. 
One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. A fearless, red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just Aloy. I am unyielding Fashav. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the Army of the Setting Sun. You're Fashav. Vavad gave me a message for you. That he waits for you in Meridian, where you belong. Hmm. <laughs> Avad always was polite. Well, now I'm even more curious about you knowing that you have the confidence of the Sun King. But... Such an association with the Karja could work against you here. As it often has with me. As you can see. Tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive, unheralded. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. So you say. I might be able to help, but I need to know why. Along with some assurance that I won't regret it. How did you come to be among the Tanakh? It's quite a story, but not a quick one. Though I suppose neither of us is going anywhere before the embassy begins. Are you sure you want to hear it? Let's, uh, I think let's hear it. I'm very interested in his story. I guess we have time. Very well. I marched with Sun King Jaron's raiders when they came west, hoping to moderate their worst impulses. I failed, of course. They committed unspeakable atrocities, stirring the Tanakh into action. When the clans overran our forward encampment at Cinnabar Sands, I stayed behind to help the last stragglers evacuate. I was taken prisoner. I didn't make it easy for my captors, mind you. And they paid me back in kind on the journey to their capital. I lost so much blood on the way that I was white as a corpse when they threw me before Chief Akaro. I thought I was dead for sure, so I resorted to desperate measures. So when you met the Tanakh Chief, you did something desperate? Now, I'd kept my ears open as the Tanakh dragged me along, and I heard mutterings about a kind of trial by combat that they revere. So, when they flung me at Akaro's feet, I demanded this right called the Kurut, thinking that by winning I could request a boon, my life or even my freedom. The other Tanakh howled, but Hakaro stared them down, and then his gaze fell upon me. Evidently, he appreciated my ingenuity. He allowed me to participate in the Kulrut. Little did I know what I was in for. You said the cool route is a Tanakh's trial by combat. Yes. But it is no ordinary trial. It doesn't pit men against each other, at least not directly. Instead, the combatants fight machines in a great arena, and only the strongest survive. Believe me, it is no easy thing to stare down a charging machine while hundreds around you scream for blood. I know more about that than you might think. Do you? Well, then you have my respect. Like you, I lived through it to claim my prize. I had hoped for freedom, but... Well, that wasn't on offer. Only service to the Chief. You wound up serving the Tanakh Chief? The winners of the Kul Root must serve the Chief as his marshals. You mentioned that word before. What does it mean? Well, the word itself refers to a kind of protective spirit from the ancient past. In practice, the marshals are Hikaro's roving lawgivers, part magistrate, part judge, part executioner. I won my place among their ranks and served as honor demanded, but many Tanakh still spat on the ground when I walked by. But they did, until I started forcing them to the ground to grind their faces in it. I guess that's one way to deal with it. <laughs> as you may have noticed, violence is the native tongue of the Tanakh. To survive, one must master it. 
The truth is, though, the cars just speak it too. More than they should. I can't blame the Tanakh for hating them. So then, are you still Karja? Part of me, yes. Always. But there is much to admire about the Tanakh. Especially their chief. Now, I've heard stories about what it was like before his reign. Three clans always at war, constantly slitting each other's throats. Hikaru and the marshals have crafted a delicate peace. And now he looks to the future. Who knows? Maybe that future will include cooperation with the Karja. The Karja talk about Hikaru as if he's a monster. The Karja feel compelled to demonize him if only because he swept them from the field. It is true that he is fearsome. When I was first taken before him, I thought he would flay me alive. But he is no bloodthirsty tyrant like the Mad Sun King was. I think that if you were fortunate enough to meet him, as I was, you would find that he only wants the best for his people. I hope you do speak to him. And I'm sure you'd interest him. So, that's my story. You're the first Easterner to hear it, but not the last. The Karja need to know what I have learned. Yeah. The way you talk about the Tanakh is a lot different than how they do. Are you glad to be going back to Meridian? Oh, I'll admit that I wouldn't mind sleeping in a feather bed or sipping wine from the southern vineyards. But I have another goal in mind. As someone who knows the Tanakh and the Karja, I'm in a unique position to advocate for both. If Sun King Avad is amenable, my hope is to establish a lasting peace. The Tanakhs don't seem that peaceful. They're not, as a rule. But these are difficult times. Chief Akaro knows that survival often requires change, even if that change means putting aside centuries of war. Okay, so uh, let's uh, talk about the Rite of Passage. A really interesting story, I loved it. So we know that there is a ritual. Hmm. You asked why I need Rite of Passage. I'll tell you, but you won't like my answer. Six months ago, the world almost ended in Meridian. That threat still exists. It's getting worse every day, much worse. Calling down storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west. And I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs. And I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian. An army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. So I'm inclined to believe you. The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. I'll grant you this to serve as proof of your right to travel into Tanakh lands. A task so important, and it's just the two of you. Take it from one who aspires to be a diplomat. Allies are essential. Chief Akaro knows the West better than anyone. He may be able to help you. He can be intimidating to others, but don't let that deceive you. He is a man of his word. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you, and he'll listen to Look! Him. The Sky Clan's banner! Finally, they've arrived. Marshals. It wasn't easy, but I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the commander? Uh, no. I could only convince a few. He isn't yet aware we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. What's going on? Not all Tanakh can stomach the idea of parlay with the Kaja. But enough have come for us to begin. Then I'll be on my way. No. 
The other marshals will not permit it. You wanted safe passage, you have it. After the embassy. Guess we have to wait. The Karja have opened the gates. Just have a feeling that something's gonna happen here. I don't know. It's just a weird feeling. As the sun rises over a land at war, so too can it set over a land at peace. Today is such. Hear me, marshals! You who claim to be Tanakh! Who is that? Regala. Chief Akaro's biggest mistake. A rival whom he should have killed. You have forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. Hikaru has betrayed us. The embassy is proof. And all of you marshals are his accomplices. For this, I condemn you to death. You'll need more than toothless threats to intimidate us. Exile. Oh no. What is that? How does she control the machine? Lancers! Pull him up! Oh no. Are you serious? They're riding machines. Where'd they learn to do that? Silence. Oh, that makes sense. Vashav, come with us now, or not at all. Archers, light them up. Oh, boy. Get to cover! Why are they just standing there? There's so many. Okay, we'll have to. I think we'll have to stop them somehow. They're not gonna make it. There's no way they're gonna die. No way. Open the gates! Open the gates! Oh no. This is a massacre. Stand your ground! Fire at will! I don't have a shot! Oh my goodness. What happened? Can you see? It's just us now. Hey! Come down and fight fair! 
Pincers! Take the center! Get ready! I guess we're fighting. <laughs> okay. Stick to uh, cover. Archers yeah. on the ring. There we go. Here they come. Okay, uh, I need to figure it out. Uh, okay, so what do we do here? Wait, that's ours. There we go. Oh wait, we have the fire arrows. I forgot. One sec. Oh, this one doesn't have the canister. There we go. This one has the canister yet. Still, I mean, ah, uh, it's so hard to aim. Level six reached. Oh boy, what? Where did that come from? Bristlebacks. Oh. Okay, now we have to fight this ones. We've survived worse. There we go. What? Where are the bristlebacks? I don't see them. Uh, I cannot choose the arrow. I missed. There we go. Oh no, there we go. Just explored already. Bristlebacks are crazy. I'm telling you. Uh, no ammo. I didn't see that one. Okay. Are there more bristlebacks? Okay, let me get the uh, stuff here. Okay, what is happening? Oh, okay. 
I don't know where that one was. Is it stuck or something? That was probably the first glitch that I've seen in this game. <laughs> Enough! You, Outlanders, I'll skin you both! Chief, grant me the honor of this challenge. Come on down. Granted. Yeah. What? Oh, he's got the shield. Did I scan it? I... I don't know. There we go. Uh, we have one skill point. Let's see if we can... get something. I think we can get... this one. Triple R1 and R2. Cool. Almost done. Uh, this shield, I mean. Now's my chance. Give it up. Come on. Shield regenerated. No. Oh my. He doesn't even attack here. You're not stopping me. Our attacks are so good. <laughs> oh, I can see his underwear. Oh, we need to heal. All these people. Get him to the camp now. Okay, Warl is okay. That's good. You gonna make it? You're going on without me, aren't you?
Guess I'm stuck with Aaron. For now. Come on. I'll take you back to the fort. I don't know if I shove. He seemed like a good guy. It's salvage time, boys. Oh, we can take the sh his shield. That's great. I don't think it can take a hit. I should be able to use it to glide. Still trying to sort out this mess. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. That sounds about right. The marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation was slain. Nozar, Vwadis, Peshav. A massacre. What will you do now? I have to head west. Hopefully this rite of passage is still good. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh's territory if I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. The Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong, home of the Utaru tribe. This isn't Tanakh's territory? All that out there? That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, though... Obviously, this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached from the north, with all those machines they were riding. They must have made camp up that way. The rebels were riding bristlebacks. And there were bristlebacks in the Daunt. Are you saying the rebels let them into the Daunt? How would that even be possible? I don't know. But it's worth looking into. While you're at it, there were a number of Karja and Asuram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. See if they're all right. I can keep an eye out. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? There's that one, over there, near the Utara border. But why... It's, uh... It's hard to explain. It'll help me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? Let's talk about uh, Regala. Fashav called Regala a rival. Someone that Tanakh the chief should have killed. <laughs> yeah, I reckon he should have. She's obviously a huge threat. Her attack was coordinated and precise. Until you got in her way, that is. They knew the lay of the land. And they knew Fashav was going to be handed over at the embassy. If the Tanakh weren't expecting her, she must have spent months gathering an army in secret. They had to have made camp nearby. Somewhere they could lie low until the perfect moment to strike. About Fashav. <sighs> the man was taken captive by the Tanakh. Survived for years out in the west only to die just short of the Sundom. It's a cruel end for a good soldier. There was more he wanted to do. He spoke of advocating for lasting peace between the Karja and Tanakh. Too late for that now. What will happen to him? His body will be carried back to Meridian. As a cousin of the Sun King, he will be accorded official rights and buried with honor. No soldier could ask for more. All right, so it's uh, I think it's time to go. I need to be on my way. Then I wish you luck. 
The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. That's awesome. That was... I was worried about. And don't worry about your friends. We'll get them patched up. I appreciate it. Sun, watch over you, Aloy. I hope you find what you're looking for. Okay, that was a quite a fight. We got three skill points. I have to uh, research and see what we can get with it. Oh my, we are in the Forbidden West. Okay, the Shield Wing is an energy-based glider, repurposed from machine technology. Hold square while in the air to deploy the glide and tap circle to stop gliding. That's awesome. That's what I saw in the trailer. I was wondering how we can get that. This is the Forbidden West. A whole new frontier to explore. The coordinates from the spire should lead to silence in Hades. And just maybe... A backup of Gaia. It won't be easy out there. The blight, the storms, Regala's machine riders. But I'll have to push through it all. Find a way to fix the world. Like Elizabeth would. I wonder how Silence got through the border. Did he have a trial or something? Okay, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. That was a, quite a lot of action. Thank you so much. Um, please don't forget to press like and subscribe if you still haven't. And I'll see you next time. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.